What's up, guys? We're back for another video on the channel. Daily uploads, they're going on. Today is another film review on the channel. I know I've done a bunch of film reviews. That's what I've been mostly doing. I've been doing occasional other videos. Like you guys, you guys saw the 20, top 25. You saw me film reviewing myself. You've seen some other stuff. But film reviews, that's what's going on, especially during the offseason, trying to show the NFL draft prospects the Jags have, plus other film reviews. But today is a Jags 2021 20 NFL draft pick film review part one we got fourth round pick going on fourth round pick jay tufeli jay tufele which is jay two chick-fil-a go watch the podcast if you don't know what i'm talking about but we got we're watching jay two chick-fil-a today versus ucla uh 2019 because he did opt out in 2020 so we got to go back to 2019 but we're gonna be watching J2 Chick-fil-A part one today versus UCLA. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. See you guys there. All right, guys. So we're jumping straight in. And we got J2 Chick-fil-A's right here. He's probably eating two Chick-fil-A sandwiches because he's a big dude. But this is a great play right here. It's a game in the uh getting pressure on the quarterback. He's just gonna force his way in here and get up and pressure the quarterback. Let's go ahead and watch it, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. There he is. Just gets pushed, pushes right around him, uses his hands, gets a pressure on the quarterback. Fantastic job. Goes right around, swishes his hands down. Uses it's a great pass rush move. It's a great, great use of pass rush moves. Sw swishes his hands down and runs right around him and gets a fantastic pressure on the quarterback. There he goes. Boom. Right around. Great job in the pass rush game here. Throws his pushes his hands right down and just uses power to run through his arms, trying to pull him back. He's not letting that happen right here. You can see he uses his hand right here. He's using his hand to push his hands down so he cannot get an impact on him. And then he just runs. He's Now he's here and he's just running around him, pulling his arm with him, using strength and power there. But that's great finesse, great finesse move right there by J2 Chick-fil-A. That's what I'm going to call him forever now. But – Let's go ahead and watch this one last time. There he goes. Boom. Straight up pressure on the quarterback. Fantastic job, Jay. All right, guys. Here's a game. Here's a play in the run game by Jay. Jay is right there that I don't really like. Jay is going to be out here with his guy. The running back is going to be going this way. And then Jay is going to have inside leverage where if the running back cut back, he could just split the block and tackle him. But instead, he tries to split out which then opens this gap, and the running back takes that cut once he sees him doing it and hits it. Let's go and watch Jay. There he goes. He's with his man right here. He's able. He's in a position to where if he just cuts and goes in there, he'll just meet him there. So he's starting to go this way, but then Jay is going to go around this way, which is going to leave this open. So let's draw this. He's going this way. He's looking at Jay. This is the block he is watching. You can look at his eyes and see that's the block he's watching. And as soon as Jay curls around this way, it's going to leave this wide open instead of if he's here, he could just go right here and fill that gap. So this is what he does. And then it leaves this wide open until this guy comes and gets him or this guy. So Jay could do a better job here, in my opinion, because you can tell this is exactly what the running back is reading to make his decision on if he wants to cut in here or if he wants to go this way. That is determined by this block here. So Jay has got to keep his leverage here and not try to swing out because it left this wide open. So let's go ahead and finish this. And there you go. See, as soon as he's in this position, you can see the running back begins to make his cut back to go to this open area to where he's going to meet him. And he's going to go around instead of going around and meeting him right here, which gives up yards that did not need to be given up. And then Jay is looking at him from the back now. So let's watch this one more time. There he goes. He's got his guy. He's got the leverage. He goes outside, running back cuts gone jay just gives opens a hole for the running back instead of filling the hole is what you could say here in my opinion 
right there. Because now he's looped around. It's left this hole open that he's going to have to fill, he's going to have to fill, he's going to have to fill, and he's going to have to fill. So it gives up about, I'd say, five, seven, about eight yards that doesn't need to be given up if Jay just, instead of going here, if he just stays here and then fills this if he decides to go there, or he'll just go outside and get tackled by this other guy that are coming outside. Because you guys got you got guys on the perimeter. The only way he's getting any yards is if this hole is left open right here by that. So, Jay, got to do a better job filling that hole, filling that gap, but we'll move on now. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, so we got Jay right here. And what Jay's going to do is he's going to impact the offensive lineman here, and then he's just going to – so let's try He's going to impact him, and then he's going to try and swish around and run around him to try and get cool – get a quarterback pressure, kind of does two things. It's like he's about to try and like do a bull rush or something, and then he just kind of tries to swish his arms around and then try to run by him in that little gap. Let's go ahead and watch it play out. There he goes. He gets the impact, and he tries to push him off, swing around him, and he almost gets the pressure. His friend gets past, almost a pass breakup, but there's, the, there's that, and then he tries to push him back down so that he could swish him down or whatever you want to call that and then try, and he stops, which that's kind of what confuses me, is he gets the push, then he pushes him to the side right here. Once he's in this, just go. Don't, don't sit there, just go. Your, your guy is now trying to, he no longer has any contact on you. You successfully got his hands away, so just run at full speed. Don't let him get another chance to catch you use the athleticism you have and just try and get to that quarterback as quick as you can. But instead he pauses right here, which allows him to get, oh, which allows him to get contact back on. Boom, boom. And he's going to pause right here. See, he pauses right here. He should just be running. Now he tries to run again. And you see he's about this far from the quarterback. But that's because he stopped here for a second. If he just, if we roll this back, let's go. There's the impact. Push him down. If now he just runs at him, because this guy is in the dust, if you just run at him, then that's a, that's a, that's a QB pressure or a potential. I don't know if it'll be a sack. The quarterback might be able to evade him, but that's definitely going to be a quarterback pressure. But instead, he stops, and then he goes, which allows the offensive lineman to get a push, get contact back on him, get a push on him. See, now he's got contact because he slowed down. And then he tries to go, and the quarterback has time to get the ball out. So you do two things. You give the quarterback more time, and you give the offensive lineman time to recover after you just beat him with like a uh, contact and push down. Like that's a good move if you just keep running from here. We'll watch that move one more time. Push, push down, go. And he should just go, but he doesn't. That's the issue here. Push, push down, and then should go. From this, it should be contact, push down, and then go. But instead, he just kind of stops here and sets his hips like he's trying to stop this running back, even though the running back doesn't have the ball. Maybe that's what he's trying to do, and then he realizes he doesn't have the ball, so then he tries to go for the quarterback. But it should just be a push, throw arms down, and then go. I don't know if that drawing really showed it, but let's watch it one more time. Push, throw down, and then go. Push, throw down, go. That's what he should be doing. He doesn't go. He stops for a second, which gives the offensive lineman time to recover and the quarterback time to throw. Has potential to be better than that and needs to be better than that. But nice move, Jay. I'll, I'll give you a nice move. All right, guys. Here is Jay right here, and he's going to be on this offensive lineman, and he's going to have a fantastic move. 
He's going to go in and then he's going to swim under and just get a fantastic quarterback pressure again. This is his second of the game. So go ahead, watch it. Boom. Gets right under him. Put, causes that quarterback to run out. Somebody else gets the quarterback hit. There he is right there. Just got right past him. And get, that's the pressure you can see causes that quarterback to move. But boom, boom. Then swim under. Get around, even with the other guy. Keep your balance. Fantastic job by Jay here using his pass rush moves. He's been doing that pretty well. He's not just trying to use power. He's using finesse, and I like that. Finesse uh, rushers do pretty well in the league because they know moves. They're not using their power, which they can just overpower lower guards. But you can see what he does. And, and then that leaves, that leaves the uh, offensive lineman's hands. Boom, boom, then boom. And swim under, and that just leaves him in the dust. And you lose your balance a little bit, but you keep your balance, get the pressure. Number 89 finishes and gets the quarterback hit, but you got the initial pressure. So good job by Jay right here. Great, great pass rush move. Fantastic job. Swimming under and around. Boom. Keeping his balance and sticking with him. Boom. There he goes. And you beat him here and just get in. Keep your balance. And boom. If he had better balance and he might get the QB hit himself, but the off the offensive lineman also kind of pushes him off track. But he does get the QB pressure here. So this is a great job by Jay getting the QB pressure, getting that inside pressure while number 89 finishes with the QB hit. Great job, Jay. We'll watch this one more time. Here we go. Doom, swim under, go. Keep balance, pressure. Great job, Jay. Let's go on. Here we go again. Here's Jay right here. Here's another great – he's doing great with pass rush, but he's going to just swoop under here and just run right by his guy straight down the middle here. Let's go ahead and just watch this play out. There he goes. Splits a double team, kind of, and just runs around this guy, forcing another QB pressure. He's got two guys right there, and he just splits right between them and just outpowers this guy's arm pull and causes that QB to leave the pocket, gets that interior pressure. That's what the Jaguars need. They need that interior pressure. Splits that right there, and is just powering his way there. Fantastic job using power here. Not really a pass rush move. Not really, really using any finesse here. This is just power, powering through that arm that the offensive lineman is trying to hold him back with, and he is just going, which causes the quarterback to leave the pocket, run, and then lets the rest of the play happen. But this is a great job by Jay, splitting through the double team, not letting his guy get a full hit on him before he goes. Great first step. Watch this. You can see he's got a great first step, splits right through, and there he goes. Fantastic job using power here. Great job getting pressure from the interior, which is exactly what the Jaguars needed. And it actually might be a hold because they they do throw a flag. I think I think he holds them. That might be let's see, that's a hold on somebody. I think that's I think he holds them. So yeah, I think that's a hold on the offensive lineman as well. So who knows? Maybe he gets a sack, but either way, even with the flag, with the hold, he still gets that interior pressure, which is what the Jaguars. It's needed so much. Great job by Jay to Chick-fil-A here. You can eat two Chick-fil-A sandwiches for that hard work there. But fantastic job. This is really fun to watch. Watching a guy just split right through, having no problem, leaving that other guy mm -hmm. blocking nobody. I think it looks like it's supposed to be a double team, and he just splits through it, leaving that guy doing nothing, and then this guy screwed to have to force a hold on him. Great job. Great job, Jay. Great job, Jay. Let's go on. Well, guys, it's literally the next play. This one is in the run game. Jay is here right next to the pole. And what's going to happen here is this is going to be in the run game. He's just going to push his guy down, run around, and get a good tackle for loss. Let's go ahead and watch this play out. Watch the pole. That's where Jay is. There he is. Pushes his guy down, just gets around, get in there for that tackle for loss. Great job, Jay. He's the one who really blows this up right here. Obviously, the interior also gets it, but Jay gets it right there too. 
Jay just leaves his guy on the ground, 76. You can see, if you look here, you got, this is Jay's man. This is Jay. This is the running back. Jay is the first one in there. Jay is the one who I think gets credited with the tackle for loss. But the big thing is, he's running here while his guy is looking at him from the ground. That is what I want to see. I want to see your offensive lineman, the guy that's trying to block you. I want to see him on the ground and you going after running back, quarterback, whoever it is that whether it's a run play or a pass play, I want you to see, I want to see you going after whoever it is. And that's a great job just to power him to the ground and just use your speed and athleticism to get in there and get, get in on that tackle for loss. I think he gets credit for the tackle for loss. Cause if you look, He's the guy who pulls him, pulls him back. So great job, Jay, to Chick-fil-A. Fantastic job. Let's watch it one more time. Leaves his guy on the ground, pushes him down. Great, great, great move. He uses a good move to get around him and then leave him on the ground. Boom. You can see him use his hands. He uses his hands really well to get on his back, push him down, and get around him. And then uses – and then see he reaches, grabs him straight away. Fantastic job, Jay. You're having a great game today. All right, guys. Here is Jay. Here's another great rep in the run game. This one's, it's not a tackle for loss, but he does blow the play up. And what's going to happen is the run is going to be going this way. And what he's going to do is he's going to get over and he's going to get a big impact on the offensive lineman, pushing the offensive lineman back, getting in there and making the tackle. I think somebody else gets in there as well. Let's go and watch Jay. He's straight there in the middle. Boom, he goes over, 57 gets off his feet and gets pushed out of the way. And then now it's just one-on-one -on -one and Jay is right there. Let's go ahead. Jay is right here. This guy got swung around and is now trying to block somebody that he definitely wasn't supposed to block initially because he got put off his feet by that blow from Jay, which it's going to be a mix of both of them. But Jay is going to be able to get in there, fill that hole. He does a great job filling that hole, getting the offensive lineman and make giving these offensive linemen a hard day. Great job by Jay, getting that impact on that one guy to get him out of there so the double team is irrelevant. So it leaves you just one-on-one -on -one to get in there and fill that hole, make a play. Great job, again, by Jay to Chick-fil-A. He's doing a fantastic job. Again, he's having a fantastic game against UCLA. He's making these offensive linemen have a rough time out here. Let's keep going. All right, guys, so you guys know how I have said Jay has been using finesse. He does it again. He's going to go over to the center, and then he's going to swim under him and get another quarterback pressure. Let's go ahead and watch. Jay is on that pole again. Let's watch. There goes on the center right here. Swim right under. You're free. Run. There's the quarterback pressure. Pressure from the interior. He's gotten a lot of that today. That's a fantastic swim move. I believe that's called. I could be saying the complete wrong move, but you guys get what I'm going for. Um, fantastic finesse move. Great job to just get around him, leave the offensive lineman chasing you, getting the pressure to force him out so that 51 can either make the play or that can happen, cause a throwaway. Fantastic job. You force that. This is all thanks to 78 throw, blowing up this play, giving him no time, interior pressure. That's what the Jags have needed. I'm telling you guys, this is huge. Seeing all this interior pressure that Jay is getting, is fantastic for the Jags, and I can see why they picked him up because they needed a they needed a defensive tackle that they could at least put in on passing downs and get that interior pressure. That's what they struggled with. Great job, great job, Jay. That's a fantastic finesse move. He's a he's got this game at least. I haven't gone to many other games, but from this game at least, he's been using finesse really well. Great job, Jay. Let's go on to the next play. Guys, what I love here is Jay, he doesn't really do anything uh, off the beat. He's not going to do any great finesse move. It's just there's nothing to watch against the offensive line here. But this is just a fantastic hustle play. Let's watch him. He's just never going to quit. He's going to be running full speed. Just see, he's not quitting. He's not slow ever. He's running full speed as quick as he can. Get down there. Make a touchdown saving tackle. Let's watch that hustle. That's fantastic hustle by, by Jay. That's what... That's exactly what Urban Meyer wants in this offense. Give everything you got. He doesn't, he doesn't slow down. He doesn't stop like these other guys jogging. He's going full speed as quick as he can. Look, watch this. 
J starts back here. He's right here. Look at J. All these guys, they slow down. All these guys had an advantage over J. And J ends up getting there, helping make the tackle. Fantastic job, which if J is not there, he could easily spin around that tackle and score a touchdown. So J saves the touchdown here because of his hustle. You love to see a hustle like that. Defensive tackle using all the energy they got, all the speed they got, get there and save the day. Fantastic job, Jay. Love to see that. I just want to show this really quickly. Jay is right here. Uh, this is why Jay, I like that Jay's a finesse rusher. He's not the best just power rusher. This is him just trying to attempt a pure bull rush, and he just doesn't do anything. There he goes. And it's kind of a double team, but he wasn't really doing anything anyways. But he's not just the best pure bull rusher, but I love how he uses finesse so much. But this is just an example of when he just tries to do just a pure bull rush and it doesn't really work. It's kind of what it looks like. But I just want to share that really quickly. <laughs> Here's Jay trying to use finesse and it not working. So he just failed at a bull rush last play, and now he's going to fail at a finesse rush. There he is. He tries to use a swim, does not work, tries to spin around, and he ends up on his knees. Not a good rep. Jay is absolutely owned by this by this uh, O-line, offensive lineman, just not a good rep. Failed spin move, failed – or failed swim move, failed spin move. He tried to use finesse all over the place, and it just did not work, and he ends up on the ground. So that's not fun for Jay. This is towards the end of the game. Jay hadn't played in a while. He's been on the bench for a little bit, resting, because they, they take him out for a lot of sets, uh, and they were using a lot of those sets down the stretch, and – USC's winning by a mile, but yeah, he kind of gets owned here, so <laughs> not not a good look, but he's had a great game anyway, so it, ha it happens to the best of them, but let's watch it one more time, and then we'll move on. All right, next play. Here's Jay again. Here's a good rep. Here's another finesse move. He loves using this swim move. He's going to go, and he's going to swim under and just row as quick as he can. He's going to swim and go. And just get a, he's going to get the QB hit here. It's not just a pressure. Boom, swim under or swim, push him to the side and just go maul him. Great job by Jay here. Boom, gone. He loves using that swim move. I think I could be wrong. I could be calling it the completely wrong thing. I'm pretty sure that's a swim move. If it's not, clown me in the comment section. But you guys know what I'm going for. Whatever I say, swim move. If it's not a swim move, just you know what move I'm talking about. He loves to use it, boom, and he uses it very well. Gets a fantastic quarterback hit here. He's gotten pressure all day long. Finally gets his hands on the quarterback himself. Unfortunately, it's not a sack, but still a great job by Jay. After getting owned back there, he gets revenge. Fantastic job, Jay. Love watching Jay use finesse moves. Fantastic job. Let's go on. All right, guys, we're back. So that's all for the film today. We finished that game. Jay had a great game. Jay 2 Chick-fil-A. This is part one of him versus UCLA. We got him versus Oregon coming later this week. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was really fun to record, really fun to watch. Jay, he loves using those swim moves, loves using finesse. Not the best uh, pure power rusher, but as a finesse rusher, he is a fantastic. He's fantastic at it. He gets, ton, he gets a ton of interior pressure. He's okay as a run defender. He's got room to work. He's got room to grow. He's got a ton of talent. Love to see that this guy fell to the fourth round. See you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on notifications, watch all my videos. Make sure to go watch the most recent episode of the podcast. We had a fun time recording that podcast. It was fun. So many fun moments. But yeah, make sure to go watch all that. Do all that. See you guys next time. Peace.